I think we'll actually wake up at one and we'll see if we can get a kiss from Apollo. Fucking player. The only thing is when we sleep, we have to watch the dad cutscene every time. That's the lover's tree. That's where we're going to kiss our, our girl. So let's do 1 p.m. We woke up, went to the bathroom, and went right back to bed. And then we can also save here. Immediately after. That way we don't have to watch this whole... This whole thing. You must try harder tomorrow. Good night, Joel. Alrighty. Or maybe there's something I still have to do for that micro gum thing. Maybe we need to progress the aliens story a little bit. Because we've seen the alien, but we haven't had a chance to like interact with it, I don't think. We just kind of ran by one night when we were out in the fields. Alright, we gotta be fast as fuck here. Let's fucking hoof it. Because this rocket guy should be firing off pretty much as we speak, I think. Fuck. Well, we already missed him, but he was pissed off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It also said I'm supposed to find a frying pan in here. Only ever poopy though. It said the trash can across from the trailer. Unless there's one over here. I don't think so though. Maybe there's just stuff we haven't done yet that we need to accomplish still. I'm not totally certain. All right, let's go try chewing this at exactly 5 p.m. Gives us just enough time, basically. We might have a little bit of time to wait, but it's better to be early than late. All right, buy the micro gum. All this other stuff just healing? Like, I don't know, man. Kind of expensive. Alright, what if we click use? I'm assuming it means eat. But this guide is not very specific. So what if we just hit use? I'm assuming we'll just hold it out. Yeah, we literally have to eat it. Oh my god, we still have two hours. We came too early. Fuck. Guess we could run up and buy our train ticket. Kill some time. Assuming that this is going to work. If this doesn't work, I'm not going to... I'm obviously not going to waste the money. We are going to... Scarecrow Field. All right. Hop back real quick. Killed a little bit of time. And look how fast the minute hand goes either way. We're going to end up waiting by this crack regardless just because it's uh time moves so quickly. We want to arrive early. I'm going to turn my TV way up now. So if you hear, you hear it through the speakers. Apologies. Look at 
like a bird. Crane. I still don't hear like a chiming. Maybe we need to do something else. I'm just going to eat this and then we'll reset. Maybe we need to talk to the alien. No fucking way. The timing is really that tight, huh? All right, well, I don't know why that happened, but we got the alien dictionary. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Mm, I think we could kiss Goro if we hung around. Hung around and uh, waited for his shift to end. Yeah, that really did make zero sense. Uh, I should check the check the train schedule real quick. I always forget. Wait, five thirty. That's to the temple. Fuck. That's so seven thirty when the next train arrives. All right. Well, I guess we can get Goro and Michelle at the same time once we get her eggplant. I love how we can slowly dash. We can sneak or slow sprint. It's okay. The trains always arrive 30 minutes early, so we'll be pulling up here. I don't know. I feel like for the most part, there's always something to do. So I don't feel like the, the comics are too important. So now we just need Alien Dictionary 2. Which, according to this, we get that from... Alien Dictionary 4... Oh, fuck. Jigsaw is one of the guys in the factory. Go to the fourth area, the new factory, and kiss Jigsaw. And he gives you the last dictionary. Fuck me, man. The factory is so annoying. All right. Let's see what's Jigsaw got going for him. He comes out at 3 a.m. Find the piece that matches up to his face. Give him the correct piece and you get a kiss. Uh, do I just want to do that first? We probably should. Mm. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to do in Scarecrow Field. I mean, that's where we get the eggplant from Michelle, but man. There is one more train coming to the temple. Fuck, but I don't think there's any trains going to... What's its nuts? Funny Bone Factory. All right, let's get our let's get our schedule straight here. Hold on. So we need to be ready to board at 5:30, and that'll let us get to the factory really early in the morning. So we're gonna need to wake up at 5 a.m. here. But can we view the movie now? Goro, you said you'd watch the movie. I think we had actually had to catch him like as he was done working. We're just fucking everything up. It's fine. Yeah, because now he's fucking wasted. Stupid people waste their lives. Yeah, I think we literally have to catch him like as he's packing up for the day and then tell him that we want to watch the movie. Alright, that's fine. We kind of fucked up a little bit, but it's not a big deal. We just have to plan to not have much inventory space because we need two tickets. So this frog we can get rid of. Fuck that. 
We probably should have turned this into the cop, which I think we could right away in the morning, maybe. Poopy, we can toss. That'll give us room for our two tickets. All right. We got to set a real, real early alarm here. Let's check the mail quick. Okay. So I'm thinking four o'clock. That'll give us time to run across town. Deposit our film if we so choose. We'll be fucking golden. We also, now that we're really healthy, should probably give the guy our blood. I think we probably could have done that actually now. A little bit of an oopsie, but if we want to do that, we'll we'll do it later. I know, we didn't kiss anyone. You must try harder tomorrow. Alrighty. Thankfully, we know who to talk to in the factory to figure out where the lazy guard is. Oh, we actually do need to pick up our one day manager pass, which I totally forgot about. Or at least I was about to. So it's kind of good that we're uh, getting up a little bit early. Dude, if we would have gotten to the factory without our manager's pass, that would have been fucking game over. We would have had to ride all the way back, get the pass, then ride all the way there. I mean, obviously it would have been better to just revert the save, but fuck, that would have been a huge waste of time. All right, we've at least got a game plan. We've got our day planned out. This cop better be waiting. Because we don't have a ton of time. Oh my god, he's asleep. No fucking way. Please. The train is about to arrive. Oh my god. He fucked us. He's got our manager's pass. We can't enter the factory without it. That's fine. Our alarm is already set. When he's up, we'll get it and we'll go back to bed. Really obnoxious, but what are we going to do? Dude's sleeping on the job. I'm assuming he's up at like probably seven. Making sure it wasn't six. It's a shame I can't figure out these kisses over here. Michelle's. Oh shit, she's got like money stashed back there. Hmm, wonder if we can get some of that. There we go. All right. You were sent to the graveyard. Now you are here. That means you have revived. Congratulations. A little bit of dialogue there for us. All right, let's pick up our one-day manager pass. And we'll drop off the film. We probably need the old film on us to kiss Goro, right? We could drop these dictionaries off too. We'll pick those up later. It's just kind of a lot to, to be carrying around. Funny cola. Okay. We're fucking going. Yeah, we're going to be absolutely miserable if we don't arrive like right when the tour starts. Because we will just have to sit here and jack off all night, and it's not fun. <laughs> I think we did it like one time before, so now 
Now that we have the alarm repaired, we always show up early. Yeah, the frying pan must be in there, but we must need to progress something to be able to find it. Not really a big deal, but... Good door back there on the left side. All right. We'll hop in bed. Dad will cry because we didn't kiss anyone. We'll hop the train. We'll be good to go. Man, I wish there was a direct line straight to the factory. And that we didn't have to spend like fucking 400 to get there. Good night, Joel. We'll have to see if there's something we're missing in terms of getting money because we are... We're looking pretty poor compared to how much that computer costs. Unless there's a way we can... Convince Cheapot to give us a deal or something. Maybe there's something in his quest line. I don't know exactly, but we'll, uh... We'll figure it out. Alright. 4 a.m. Bright and early. We got the manager's pass. Everything has aligned. Fuck, man. Sun's not even up. You could see the uh, doctor with his giant syringe going back into the the clinic. When we're out at night, we can uh, we can hit up Goro, Michelle, and the doctor probably all in a row. Even though the doctor, I don't think that's gonna do anything for us. Like I don't think that gets us a kiss. Cause he had that like recipe that we had to follow, and I don't know where to get any of that stuff. So, bro, please. The train is about to arrive. What the fuck? Do we literally have to buy our ticket the day before? Okay. I was about to fucking flip. My worldly desired temple. I'm like, the train is on, on the platform as we speak. This dude better be awake. <laughs> I don't think we've ever... Have we ridden the train with him? On the way here? I don't know if we have, actually. This might get us some unique dialogue. Let's see. Alright, off we go. Good morning, Joel. What a coincidence. By the way, are you happy, Joel? What is happiness? I became, I became a salary man. If I get paid, I should be able to be happy. Such is life. Alrighty. And then this train should be arriving shortly after. Spending so much money, man. I think it pulls up at 6, maybe? Or 7.30? 7.30. So we have a little bit of time. We'll make a secondary save here. Just in case we play ourselves into a corner. Which I don't think we will. But we'll also save when we get to the factory, just because... Uh, that shit can be really obnoxious. Although I do think I have committed to memory the proper people to talk to. Alright. Got our other train ticket. Get on and wait in the train. I'm gonna have all these awkward train rides with this fucking guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We're almost at the factory. I always feel depressed when I arrive at work. All right. So we're going to decline the tour. Then we'll save and then we'll say, just kidding. I actually wanted the tour. Good morning, workers. This is Funny Bone Factory Morning Radio. Be friendly, be healthy, and be flexible. Let's work hard while keeping rules in mind. Mr. President. Oh, shit. I'm the president. Just kidding. I forgot that I'm literally the president of the company. Damn, does this mean I can enter the factory at any time? Hold on. Maybe this one time. I literally... Man, we probably didn't need the pass then. I forgot that we are literally the president of the company. That was a thing that happened. We could try and just enter. Where are you going? I'm the fucking president. Okay. Let's see my company. Okay, so we still have to go on the tour. I'm assuming we still have to hide so that the guards don't find us. That's really funny though. I forgot we were, we're president. Even though we have a sash that still says manager, I wish they would have switched out for like a presidential. Make it say president on there. Seven sixty one. Is that where we always go? I thought we maybe it's a different number each time. Maybe that's part of the joke, is that, like, all of these sections look exactly the same. So I'm pretty sure it wasn't 761 before. Oh, we're good at this now. Morning exercise. Our president, Joel, here is, is here to watch us. Funny bone exercise, number one. Right, we're a pro. X. Triangle. Circle. And X. Beautiful. Give me that cold sweet potato. This sweet potato is for you. Do we get a hot one now that we're president? No, it's going to be cold still. Guarantee it. We'll check our bag. Yep, still cold. I'm employee number 769. Mr. President. Good morning, sir. We can fire people? Good work. Thank you, Mr. President. Can we just fire the security guard? No fucking way. Right? That would be really good. Ah, Mr. President. Good morning, sir. You can count on me with the security of this factory. I'll investigate anything suspicious. Please ex exit the factory when your shift ends. Guests are no exception. What if we fire someone? Is that going to be bad? <laughs> this is the guy who's supposed to complain about the guard being lazy. What? I'm fired. What the fuck? We can just do that, I guess. <laughs> can I fire anyone? 
それはちょっとすごくそれはってことはもうちょっとそれは We can just fire anyone <laughs> We're literally just ruining the company by firing all the staff. Can I fire you? Oh, maybe that's how we get a kiss from a uh, Batayan is we fire him. I, I don't know if this is having any negative repercussions on, on the game, but I'm just going to fire everyone. Operation Chief, you're also fired. I like how they all just walk out like, yep, I'm fired. I guess if we get to the fourth area and we have to just hide, we'll, we'll just try it. I don't know. Maybe when they catch me at night, he just goes, oh, you're the president. Like, this is just fine. Feel free. <laughs> Feel free to stay in the factory. But we'll see. That's the other thing is these guides are so lacking in like detail and specificity. Like, I feel like there should be a note in the guide that says like, hey, if you're the president, like this is how this section of the game changes. So we are going to fire you, because I think that will make you happy. I love how his dialogue is just like, he knows me. His dialogue's just the same. He should know that there's something strange about me being the president of the company. Because I'm literally a child who lives in his town. So the person who would talk about the lazy guards up here. You're fired too. Get out of here. That's the other thing I didn't consider is, is there going to be someone like blocking something that I can now access maybe? Let me check in here. I guess that guy's just doing his thing. I can't play with any of these controls, right? Not quite. Not quite. Well, so far, no one has talked about a lazy guard. If we get to area four, we might just have to say fuck it and hide and see what happens. You can count on me. Okay. Yeah, they're all going to have the, the same dialogue. Seems like.